Today on the Basil Journal, we're redoing the hay story for the bachelor pad. So come with us. So today, as you can see, we have this hay storage and that hay storage, but we're always exchanging out the hay, and I apologize because all the farm animals are going crazy today. But, so we're going to put in some new hay structures across the roof, or underneath the roof, so we can store eight, six to eight bales of hay. First step is, we got to remove all the old stuff. Why are we changing all this? Because right now it only holds two bales of hay. And with having a homestead, the more time you can invest in infrastructure, you save more time on doing your daily chores. So once we get this all in, like I said, we'll have between six and 10 bales of hay down here, which means I only got to refill it once every two weeks or so instead of once every couple of days. So that saves me time because we do our daily chores before our, our full-time jobs. So we get up at 7 a.m. And, and some mornings it's a struggle to get to work by eight because of the morning chores. So this should help that. Love, you should be wearing your safety glasses. I would wear them if I knew where they were. Oh, well, wait a minute, hold on. Can you grab that to just fill? Where'd it fall? Where'd it straight down here in the hay? Just strip that. Really? We need to go to the store to get a new bit. We thought we had all the pieces and parts for this project. We had the wood, we had the screws, but the bits for the screws were stripped out. So I literally got to go to the store to get a bit for this. And you know me, I'm not buying one. While I was at the store, I picked up a pair of Irwin Quick Grips, actually one, because it's like a second set of hands because it's hard to hold this and level this and screw at the same time. So it's like having an extra set of hands. And then, you may be wondering, wow, that's level. <laughs> Sorry, ADD. Um, what kind of screws I'm using? I'm using uh, 5 16 by 4 inch screws. Now, 4 inch might seem like a little bit of an overkill because it goes through, but I'm okay because it's up in the rafters. And I'm using the one with the T bits because you can really crank down on these things. And this is going to have a lot of weight on it, so they're thicker than your regular screws. So I got them all in. Now, the next thing to do is put the 2 before on the front and 2 before in the back. Put some uh, fence things across it to, for the slats. Slats, thank you for the uh, the hay thing. And we're nearing in on completion. So my wife thought this was going to be a two-hour job. I told her whenever she estimates a project on a, on a homestead, double it and add 20 minutes. Well, I got to get back to work. Part of the process we made a little chateau for our barn cat so it's got our food a nice little warm bed some water help us come up with a name for her little penthouse suite
Oh, I finished that project. So we got three bales on this side, three bales on that side. But I think if I stand them upright, I can get four to a side. So this will last us a couple weeks. Mark this project off of the off the chore list. Until next time, live your own story.